I have to wonder where it all ends. This is uh, Edward Snowden, and he tried to tell people about the uh, National Security Agency. And uh, for all his pain and suffering, he's exiled and uh, begging to or he is staying in um, Russia. Uh, he told the truth about the United States, just the tip of the iceberg, but, and he's done nothing wrong. He's a hero. Now then, uh, I read a book about mind control, and I've had all this out and put it, laid it out, and put photos and information, that if anybody wanted to, um, they can think for themselves, I hope, still, and put it together. Um... Anyway, my point is I wrote about mind control uh, back in 76 to 80 when I had antifreeze put in me on April Fool Day. Everything I've said can be on the previous tapes for over a year now I've, uh, on YouTube. I was uh, on Facebook, and I ran in a political campaign and was flown out to Larry Flint's in 83 because um, I wrote the book uh, about mind control in uh, Marietta, Georgia, and he was brought to Lawrenceville, Georgia, and uh, the person that shot him was programmed to shoot Mr. Flint and kill his attorney there in Lawrenceville, just a few miles from where I was living in Marietta. So I could go on on about that, but I wanted to, um, I put in here about uh, the United States and my use of mind control. Um, they brought MK Ultra before Congress back in '53 and slapped him on the wrist. So how much has it grown since then? I had a letter June the 23rd of '79 from the FBI, uh, from the U.S. Attorney William Harper there in Atlanta, and it said national security involved, ongoing investigation. So anyway, some of uh, mind control is so mass now. Um, I mean, this was back in 76 to 80, and um, they can actually <laughs> uh, reach out and get you at any time. My point is, it's psychological warfare, mind control, it's scare tactics, it scares you to death. Uh, when you can program, reach out and program someone like Adam Lanza, Sandy Hook, the Columbine, I could go on, on the Aurora, Colorado, where they're feeding him psychotic drugs when he's not psychotic. Mind control has nothing to do with mental illness. So it's a uh, misdiagnosis. It's torturing the young man, and people hate his guts for something he didn't. So anyway, I could keep going on the mind control murders. What I wanted to focus on is... Um, Oh, where does all this go? Uh, mind control is can be used mass. It is. Uh, it's who's using it. Um, and I want to refer back to and where does it all end? Already mass mind control is that what's going on with the ISIS? Uh, they program someone to suddenly decide they want to go and uh, join up with ISIS or. Uh, well, I mean, the United States is the one you should be afraid of. They're the one doing it, uh, the mind control, the Westgate Mall. I could go on and it goes way back. So uh, it's just gotten more prevalent, and the use of mind control has gotten so easy uh, for the agencies. But I want to go back to Virginia Tech uh, shootings in Blacksburg. Oh, well, there, that was mass shootings, 33, to where the young Korean from Seoul, Korea, and he was uh, uh, Seoul, South Korea, uh, he was a student at Tech in April 16, 07, and asked some of the others in the mind control murders and shootings and however, if it's a knife or a machete or whatever, or a car or a plane taken down because the pilot's uh, under mind control or uh, veers out of his airspace or your controller uh, is under mind control, etc. Uh, anyway, there was quite a few murders there. This Korean ended up shooting himself. He was commanded, that was part of the command. 
and later I I had this out and I, it was in oh seven or oh eight I believe about Christmas well maybe a little, uh, in oh eight I believe just before Christmas or oh nine there was a beheading at Virginia Tech Cafe on campus at uh, Blacksburg this polite um, Chinese student who had been there for a year or so he's with a new student who's also from China, female, he takes her out to the cafe there on campus and suddenly jumps up and beheads his new friend, um, also a Chinese student she is. Where'd the idea come from suddenly? He was polite, that's how they talked about him. He's a victim of mind control. He doesn't even know what's going to happen. So he's uh, in prison. Now that I could go back to the Oklahoma City bombing where... They put it in um, uh, well. Now I've forgotten the name of it. I don't have it before me. I've got it on a lot of other where uh, Timothy McVeigh and uh, Nichols, Brian Nichols, were supposed to have uh, blown up the Oklahoma City bombing, and he was put to death. And he said that the U.S. military had put a chip up his buttocks. And he was programmed to commit the act. So he's just a tool, a mechanism is mind control, and he's just a tool uh, that carried out their commands, and he was put to death. Um, it, the, it was implantable biochips, and it was by Tex Mars. Uh, I had it, and I don't have it before me right now. Uh, but... Um, the United States is the one that uh, carried out these. I mean, they can carry out, program someone to do anything they want to, like kidnap you. So they place fear in you. Beheading is a visual thing. As long as you can do something using mind control and make someone hang themselves or commit, look like they've committed suicide death by natural cause, um, it's the... Um, well, anyway, I guess I'm rambling here. I'm trying. I don't have mine laid out before me here. I've made other tapes, but uh, the United States, the um, Ebola and the AIDS virus. It's not just me that said this. I wrote the book back then, and I put a lot in it about the Center for Disease Control in Emory, and about Doctor U.S. Congressman Larry McDonald and the deaths of Warren and Rosina Matthews. Uh, who were pathologists at Piedmont Hospital, which was Larry McDonald's hospital that he was urologist there and became, um, he was over the John Birch Society, I believe, or a member. And uh, anyway, the plane that he was on in 83, after I'd written about him in uh, Center for Disease Control and Emory and on and on, uh, his plane goes down. Uh, Beard, he was on the uh, KAL 007 from uh, Korea airline, and he went down in the ocean en route from Juneau to Seoul, South Korea. The thing is, uh, they make you, if, if the pilot or controller uh, is placed under mind control, that's the use of mind control again, it can cause the pilot to veer into out of his airspace into, in this case, it was Russian, and it was shot down. Everybody aboard uh, died. It was out in the ocean is where it went down. Uh, now, then they took Nixon, former President Nixon, off the plane. He was on that plane, too, in Juneau, Alaska. So why did they take him out of the plane? They knew it was going to go down? Now, I get nasty, nasty letters um, and um, comments because, uh, really, uh, it, it makes you sad and you wonder why. Because the per some of the people that, with the comments could be the ones that are being going to be programmed and they suffer. So you, you begin to wonder, why am I doing this? Because I'd like to pay back some of the people that did try to help me um, in all this, but I guess that's, let me see, let me look at it again, I guess that's about all I was going to say, um, the United States is sending in military and all kind of money and how looking so nice they're going into.